Nearly a dozen people were seriously injured when a flight to Hawaii was rocked by severe turbulence about 30 minutes outside of Honolulu. 11 people on the Hawaiian Airlines flight from Phoenix were taken to multiple emergency rooms in serious condition and nine others were transported in stable condition. Jim Ireland, director of Honolulu Emergency Medical Services, said that 36 people received treatment, including those with nausea or minor injuries. Snook said there was some internal damage to the aircraft during the turbulence. The seatbelt sign was on at the time, though some of those injured were not wearing their seatbelts. Thomas Vaughn, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Honolulu, said that there had been a weather advisory for thunderstorms that included Oahu and areas that would have included the flight path at the time of the incident. Snook didn't know how much altitude the plane lost during the turbulence, saying that it would be part of an investigation involving the National Transportation Safety Board. The plane's flight data recorder would provide those details. The Airbus, the Airbus A330-200 began its descent immediately after the turbulence and crew declared an emergency due to the number of injuries on board. Air traffic controllers gave the flight priority to land. We just um, got off of our flight, inter-island flight from Maui to Oahu, and um, it was probably the most turbulent flight we've ever been on. We travel a lot. We weren't necessarily nervous anything was going to happen, but um, the turbulence was really, really rocky. We were more nervous we were going to throw up and get sick. In general, we did see patients with head injuries. Uh, at least one, I believe, was uh, for a time rendered unconscious is the report I got, although when everybody went to the hospital, they were all awake and talking. We had some patients with uh, lacerations, um, including to the head, um, definitely bumps and bruises, um, a large um, number of people, somewhere around maybe 10, 10 or so, were uh, experienced nausea and vomiting, which isn't really an injury, but just consequences of the, of the extreme motion. And so that's why when we say there's 36 people injured, it doesn't really necessarily mean injured. It just means needing medical attention. So that included people with actual injuries as well as uh, uh, nausea and vomiting, um, just basically motion sickness. Um, no, I wouldn't say it's particularly common. I mean, there's, there's often turbulence across the Pacific, um, but it's rare to have that level of uh, extreme turbulence, um, and, uh, and that's what caused the, the challenge today. It was, it was a very extreme case of uh, uh, mid-air turbulence. Whenever there's uh, possibilities of turbulence, we'll put on a seatbelt sign and, and ask people to buckle up. I would always recommend that people... Uh, stay buckled whether the seatbelt sign is on or not, because sometimes these air pockets occur with no, no warning whatsoever. Uh, and so um, uh, certainly recommend that uh, uh, no matter when you're traveling. Um, well, so we'll be working with the NTSB because there have been uh, significant injuries on this. The NTSB will want to be involved and we'll be working with them. And we'll provide uh, data from the flight data recorder to understand exactly what happened. Uh, and uh, we'll obviously be interviewing all the crew members trying to understand how it occurred.